What's up Academy? It's your boy Virgo Dorai and today I am perplexed. Um I've been playing through story mode through this game, uh trying to get through it as soon as possible so I can start pumping out some content. And uh I've also been using story mode to practice when I notice something crazy that um the more the longer my combos got, the less damage I seem to actually be doing. Now commonly known, this is known as scaling. Um, but I've never quite seen scaling to this level and maybe it's been in other games But I, I sure haven't seen it before um, So what I decided to do I jumped in the lab and decided to do a little testing with normals and supers uh, So first off, uh, this is what I first did with Gohan. We'll start and look at what his regular raw uh, 3 uh, level 3 does which is 4500 damage um, Let's throw a couple of hits in front of it and What do we get we get? Uh, 4300 damage um, we do a little longer combo what do we get we get 4100 damage and so I'm like okay maybe I need to really do a long combo in order to get this thing uh, you know to do some some nice hefty damage right so throwing a nice long combo I get up to 52 5200 damage I'm like yes uh, that's great but then I try this and um, I get mad confused because I end up with uh, 51, yep, 5100 damage. Um, now I'm pretty sure as you guys have probably seen and noticed, uh, some of those numbers actually are less than what the actual raw super is, which is kind of confusing um, for me. Um, I understand the super, uh, the super itself, the level three super itself scaling. Um, but it turns out, uh, yes, the level one does scale this hard as well. Um, pretty much you guys are going to see a bunch of other things I was testing out. And you can just look at the numbers um, from there. But uh, what bothers me about this so much, um, but at the same time, I'm a little indifferent about it. We got a lot of people saying, you know, well, if you're not do if you're doing auto combos, you're trash. You know, manual combos are the way to go. However, um, I just proved that you could do a medium and a heavy and pretty much get about comparable damage. Uh, now, for those of you saying, well, bro, that's a whole 100 difference between that two hit and that long combo you did. Um, I'm going to just let you guys know one light attack um, on average is about 400 um, from each character. Uh, just one jab, 400, 400 damage. The difference between the two combos that I did, one immensely easy and one that actually required me to practice it. Um, is is less than a jab is less than uh it's, it's it's not it's not numbers um what i found from scaling from normals and mind you normals and supers do scale differently at different rates um that uh normals um they scale at about uh 10 percent per hit up until a soft cap of about 40 when you're doing like a regular normal attack um, that's like anything from jabs to even heavy attacks they and uh, after the 40% they kind of start getting weird numbers like 36% uh, 34% uh, which I'm assuming all the way down to 30 I haven't um, tried to extend the combo beyond that uh, supers on the other hand seem to go down by like 15% uh, all the way down I've gotten them down to 40 as well um, actually um, your fourth hit in a combo, if you're doing it normal, uh, your super is only going to hit for about 45%. And if you're doing a regular basic combo, you actually only hit for 87% of what that that uh, level 3 super is going to be worth. So um, that's something to keep in mind uh, for those of you guys struggling with combos. I am going to teach how to do combos anyway, because combos still have their uses. But... Um, the, the, oh, the other thing, uh, the state of your opponent also affects uh, how much damage you're doing and how much it scales. So if you like knock your opponent down on the ground and they do that little skid thing, um, that's going to scale your, your damage pretty pretty well. Um, it doesn't seem like the hit counter affects the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the damage scaling as much as um, the amount of inputs you're putting in. Um, however... Uh, super moves, uh, regular super moves, sorry, um, such as like Goku's uh, overhand fist that he does, um, those scale differently too. When you throw those into a combo, it scales your uh, your actual super, your bar usage uh, super quite differently. Like it skews. It's really weird on how this scales. So what ends up making this kind of weird for me uh, personally is um, the meta is going to be really weird now um because in all honesty 
if I can do a light, a uh, medium heavy into a level three combo and pretty much do the same amount of damage as you can do with a long combo, why would I not? Um, are there still merits to doing those longer combos? Yes. On average, you get about a thousand more damage, which um, is about two jabs, uh, really like a two hit combo from a light, um, which, which is mattering damage. And that's from a regular combo that you actually finish without um, some type of uh, meter using super. Um, if you're if you're gonna go into like your level three or something though, it's gonna scale super heavy. So you better know what you're doing with that damage because sometimes you can even end up making uh, your super weaker than what it would have been raw. So it, it, it gets kind of confusing. Um, hopefully you guys can like jump in and, and lab too. Um, it's a lot of numbers to crunch crunch around. Um, in my personal opinion, uh, what I think they I've, I've seen them do is they're scaling the uh, the supers way harder um, than the combos, and I, I think the soft cap for the supers should be a little bit higher. I would soft cap them at about 50%. Um, um, you know, after the and I would also add more hits uh, in order for that soft cap to, to take place. If the soft cap is going to be at 40, I would make it so you had to do more hits um, before you start getting to, to 40 and 34% of what the actual ultimate is worth because I believe if you did do that long combo and you are rewarding yourself at the end with a level three super that you somehow made connect into that combo okay here you go eat it I, I, I believe that's all you I believe you earned that um, and I, I think in the long run though I don't think this is going to drive people away from the game but some people are gonna get fed up with it once this info gets out like in all honesty if you want to do like the most the most easiest powerful uh combination i found pretty much is medium heavy and that's pretty much with everybody um you go medium heavy some characters don't have beam specials so you'll have to get them against the wall so that uh, that's one thing but if, if the character has a beam special um level three medium heavy level three all day um but in any case guys what's your take on this do you think this is necessarily a fair system do you think this hurts the combo system um do you think this messes everything up do you think this makes the game kind of wonky now um does this even make you want to learn combos anymore? Um, I know a couple of people who I've shown this information to, they're like, well, why do I need to even practice these long combos? I can just practice the nice short ones. Um, also, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, um, the whole auto versus uh, manual combo thing, I'll probably do a video on that. The damage is pretty comparable. You can even start off an auto combo and then switch it into a manual combo and then end up doing um, more than the average combo. It's it's The, da the damage is comparable. Um, so, uh, for all my newcomers out there, uh, new to fighting games or anything, don't let anybody scare you away from, uh, wanting to actually play this game because you don't know how to do a long combo. Honestly, 2D fighters aren't even my thing, and I learned how to do it. Anybody can do it. It's possible. Uh, but in any case, guys, that's my take on this. Um, leave in the comment section below, like, do you think this is actually going to wreck the system? Um... What do you guys think about it? I want to know. I want to know what the community actually thinks about it. I know some people are pissed off about it, and I know some people uh, aren't. Um, but uh, with the numbers that I presented you guys, let me know if, how you feel. Uh, what, what would you do differently with the scaling? Would you scale the attacks differently? Would you keep it exactly where it is? Um, would you make a different soft cap? Uh, I don't know. Um, granted, I do get that this game is 3 on 3, but... With knowledge like this, if I can do easily about 60% of your damage off of two hits, um, and let me let me uh, uh, clarify something that somebody said, told me earlier. Well, you're doing these combos like people don't know how to block. I'm sorry, if you miss an attack, um, a medium a medium attack it can easily hit you. If you miss me at all, um, if you're not blocking, if I catch you 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 slipping, medium into heavy into level three, it's it's super easy to get caught with. Um, so I just want to put that out there for anybody who's going to say, yo, bro, it's not like, you know, people can't block. They can, but it's, it's an easy thing to do. Surprisingly easy. Uh, when I release my rank video, you guys will, uh, see exactly what I mean. Uh, but in any, in any case, guys, um, that's the video. Uh, remember what I said about leaving your, your opinions in the comment section. Like, I need to know. I need to know what you guys think about this. Because that's going to actually, uh, determine the direction I go, um, with this channel. Uh, for for this game in terms of uh, what I'm going to teach you guys first um, as always like comment subscribe uh, my life's a chip in your pile and for every pound of flesh you take leave a pound of soul peace